G'day everyone, Jamie Chapman for another episode of 3 Minute Histology. In this episode we're going to continue our look at blood vessels and uh, last episode we looked at the aorta. Uh, again this is a section of the aorta, this time staying with trichrome. But there's some interesting little features which I wanted to point out including some other blood vessels uh, just in the outer wall of the um, the aorta here which um, I think is quite quite interesting. It's a really lovely section this one so I thought we'd just do a couple of minutes having a look at this one. So let's start our three minutes. So as I mentioned this is the aorta so it's an elastic artery and this one's been stained with trichrome so in this case um, the collagen fibers are stained blue and um, obviously we see lots of red here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so this is the elastic artery uh, of the aorta. We've got this really nice uh, tunica intima of the simple squamous endothelial lining, a little layer of loose connective tissue. And then we've got all of these bands of elastic lamina. Uh, and then in between, we've got the collagen fibers. And then um, not very uh, well visualized with this stain, but there would be, of course, smooth muscle cells uh, in between these elastic lamellae. Again, we've got some of these little blood vessels in the wall. These are the vasovasorum which we talked about previously and then if we go out we can see the, the dense uh, blue collagen fibers of the uh, tunica adventitia out here and we've got some more uh, vasovasorum, little arteriole, little venule and there's actually a little nerve here as well. Um, we can just sort of zoom in there we can actually see some of these uh, Schwann cell nuclei. Uh, another little blood vessel, the endothelial cells here. Um, but what I found was on, on, the, on the outside, if we sort of uh, zoom around a little bit on the outside here, We've got a, a vein. Uh, veins are typically uh, characterized by having a thin tunica media in comparison to a, an equivalent blood vessel and then a thick tunica adventitia. You can see these big bundles of collagen on the outside of this blood vessel here. So we've got a little bit of elastic fibers. Uh, you can see the simple squamous endothelium here of the tunica intima. So we've got the intima, the media, and then the adventitia. If we have a look at the major features of it, you can see um, it's very irregularly shaped, uh, but very typical of a, uh, a vein there. And what I wanted to sort of point out a couple of things over here, we've got a little muscular artery here. Um, we can see, if we zoom in a little bit further, muscular arteries are characterized by having this very well developed uh, single elastic lamellae uh, right near the border between the tunica intima and the tunica media. It's actually part of the tunica intima. We've got the simple squamous endothelium, and then we've got our um, loose connective tissue, and then we'd have a band of uh, tunica intima, uh, which is known as the internal elastic lamellae. It's very characteristic, and what it often does is it causes this waviness to the tunica intima. You get this sort of waviness. It's a really good indication that you're actually looking at a muscular artery as opposed to an elastic artery or a vein. And so then we've got a wall made up predominantly of tunica media made up of um, smooth muscle cells. You can see with some uh, collagen fibers. And then we've got the outer adventitia on the outside there. But what I did notice really quickly, um, which was really nice, uh, is here, this is another vein, and we can actually see the valves of this vein here. Um, these are extensions of the tunica intima, which help to uh, isolate the blood into smaller compartments, which makes it a little bit easier to move around the body. Anyway, we'll probably look at veins in another video, uh, so hopefully you found that little overview useful, and um, we'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!